exercise 13a question 1 so a string has a natural length of 1 meter and an elastic constant of 9.8 newtons per meter the 98 will sort of give an indication that we're going to be using gravity it's a very convenient number okay one end is fixed to a point P on the ceiling and so we're going to have a ceiling here and our point P up here okay so we'll just start off with that one next point the other end is attached to a particle of mass two kilograms which is released from rest one meter vertically below p find the position of equilibrium so if you imagine your your string okay it's pretty hard to imagine that but try it anyway uh so string is going to be in red here so the string has its natural length if i was to leave the string completely alone it will just hang down at a what's it one meter okay if I attach a weight onto that string what happen is it would go further okay so it, this is your natural length if I attach a weight onto this it would stretch further okay and you have your uh, you have an extension okay well it's actually not counted as the extension because it's not in equilibrium yet is it if I attach a particle onto that it's not in equilibrium yet so I attach the particle onto it and what it does is it extends beyond its one meter and it goes a further distance and now all of a sudden the tension going up equals the force going down okay so that's what happens when you're at the equilibrium point okay so let's just find out where the equilibrium point is first okay so at equilibrium point or at EP not electric picnic now guys won't go there okay so electric picnic you're right so this is a uh, basically uh, at equilibrium point your force is up equal your force is down okay so force is up equals force is down okay so when you're doing your forces up versus your forces down we have to figure out what each force is now force down is easy marks because what we can say about force down is it's just mass by gravity and the mass is two isn't it so it's going to be two times 9.8 which is 19.6 newtons downwards so you're going 19.6 newton downwards and your force up is going to be uh, k times uh, k times your total distance minus your natural length okay so let's call let's define d as the distance d is going to be the distance from p to your equilibrium point i.e the total length okay so it's going to be the total length so it's going to be k times k times l minus l zero is now going to turn into 98 minus l l is d and l zero is one so this is going to be uh, 98 d sorry, sorry, oh, 98 d minus 98 okay so 98d minus 1. So now guys, they both equal each other. Force up equals force down, okay? So 19.6 will equal 98d minus 98. This answer has to be bigger than 1 because the total distance has to be bigger than the natural length, which is 1. Bring it over to 98, add it on. Uh, what do we get when you add them together? 98 plus 19.6. Uh, 117.6 equals 98d divide that 117.6 by 98 and we should get d equals 1.2 d equals 1.2 okay meters now what we know is that it's 1.2 meters all the way down so 1.2 meters all the way down and all of a sudden, from this question, uh, by examining the forces on the particle when it's displaced to further distance x below the position of equilibrium, show it will perform simpler harmonic motion. We've done part one, now we're doing part two. Part two, this is the equilibrium point here. 
I am going to have to do a further extension X. The paragle is now located a further distance down. Okay. So what we're going to say now is our new length is 1.2 meters plus X. Okay. So what we're going to do is it's no longer at equilibrium. So net force. That is part two. Net force uh, equals ma will equal which one's the bigger force? Force down is smaller than force up. So it's going to be force down minus force up to get your negative answer. Also, x is positive as it goes downwards. So therefore, a has to be negative because it's going upwards. So let's see if that's the case. Force down is exactly as it was before, 2G, which is 19.6. Force up is uh, K times L minus L0, which is going to be 98 times 1.2 plus X minus 1. Okay? Now this is going to be. 98 multiplied by 0.2 98 multiplied by 0.2 plus x turns out to be very conveniently it turns out to be 19.6 uh, any time in these simple harmonic motion questions they're always going to cancel if you can't figure out a way to make them cancel there is a way to always to make them cancel even when it looks like there isn't okay and then it's going to be plus 9.8x uh key oh sorry 98x okay so 98x and what's going to happen here is that 19.6s will cancel the weight of the particle is ma which is 2a is a mass of two kilograms right yeah okay now 2a equals uh 98 minus 98x divided by two a equals minus 49x a equals minus omega squared x omega squared equals 49 omega therefore equals uh, 7 okay so this system for any extension x has a constant omega of 7 okay let's revisit our next question show that it'll form similar harmonic motion yes Find the period of the motion. Period of the motion is 2 pi over 3. Or sorry, 2 pi over omega. Which is uh, 2 pi over 7. So that's the period of the motion. Go back up. Find its maximum speed. Maximum speed is... Anybody? V equals omega A. V equals omega A. We know that omega is 7. Well, what is A? So we gotta go back up and figure out what A is from our information. Uh, then released from a rest uh, from rest one meters below P. Okay. This question, okay, has an interesting twist. Do you know the way we usually extend it? Yeah. We usually extend it from, so from the equilibrium position, we usually pull it downwards. This question is the opposite. We released it from above. So what happens is when you release it from above one meter, so you actually released it from here. All right. We know that the distance from here to here is 1.2 and the distance from here to here is one. The force, is, force down is going to be better than, for, it's going to be greater than force up. It's going to come down with a speed. It's going to go through the equilibrium point. It's going to extend up X. Then it's going to come back up. For this short period of time where it goes down and back up again, it obeys simple harmonic motion. Basically, we released it 0.2 meters away from the equilibrium point. This, by definition, is your amplitude. Your amplitude is 0.2. Okay? So therefore A is 0.2, 7 times 0.2, 1.4, V max is 1.4, don't forget your units, 
meters per second uh, to the minus one meters per second. Question five. How long will it take to fall a further distance 0.15 meters correct to two three decimal places? How long will it take to fall a, a distance to fall a distance 1.5 meters correct to three decimal places? Okay, we're starting from a extreme point, aren't we? So guys, we're starting from an extreme point. Okay, we're starting from an extreme point, okay? And the extreme point is 0.2 meters away. So if we travel, if we're starting 0.2 meters away, we travel 0.15. That means we're 0 0.05 meters away from x. We're 0 0.05 meters away from the equilibrium point. Okay. Just because we're over the other side doesn't mean we have to take positives or negatives into account. Remember, it's symmetric on both sides so being 0 0.05 meters away from the above the equilibrium is the same thing as being 0 0.05 meters away from the other side of equilibrium so <coughs> what we can do here is we can say that uh, for part 5 x equals uh, 0 0.05 uh, our amplitude is 0.2 Okay, and we're starting at an extreme point. X equals A cos omega T. And what we can do next is we can say X equals 0 0.05. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, 0 0.2. That's not the amplitude. 0 0.2 cos, what's omega again? 7T. X is 0 0.05. So get your two, or get your 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.2, cos inverse your answer, and then it's 1.32, 1.32 equals 7t, divide your answer by 7, and you should get 0.88 seconds so sorry 0 0.188 seconds time taken is 0.188 seconds okay guys uh,